Hi artist. The next two weeks we're going to do a little urban sketching and to set the groundwork for that we're going to learn one point perspective. You're going to need a plain sheet of paper like maybe you would get out of your printer, a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. Now next week you're going to need to make coffee paint. That just means to brew some coffee extra extra strong or if you prefer tea uh, you can brew it's probably four or five tea bags in a very small amount of water like four ounces and steep that for a very long time, uh, maybe three or four hours. And we'll use that to paint our, our picture, but we'll do that next week. For today, let's go to the art desk and begin to learn our one point perspective. We're at the art desk and we have basic paper, a pencil, eraser, and a ruler. And we're going to start simply by going down about, oh, two inches. And we're gonna draw a straight line all the way across. That's called our horizon line, and it's gonna separate what's in the background, which will be probably mountains and sky, from the front of our work, which is going to be uh, city buildings. And you're going to wanna to place a vanishing point somewhere along the line. This can be anywhere you want. I'm gonna place mine here. And everything I'm going to draw is going to go back toward the vanishing point. And that's gonna make it look like it's going away into the distance. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to draw a box that's about two inches long, a two inch square. Two inches long, two inches wide. And this is one of those activities you may want to make several drawings before you settle on one that you want to spend time with our paint next week. Now here is the tricky part. I need to take each corner of the square and draw a line back to the vanishing point. I'm going to use different colors to show this to you. You just stick with your plain pencil. You don't need to use different colors. Um, but hopefully this will help you keep your bearings. I'm going to start in the right corner well, the top left corner. I'm going to start with square and the vanishing point. I'm going to use red to show this line. I'm now going to go to this corner. I'm going to line up the tip with the vanishing point. I'll use blue for this line. I'm going to make another line here, heading back to the vanishing point. For this, I'll use green. And finally, this line. Now, this line will actually be completely erased, but when we're first learning one point perspective, it's a good idea to put it in. Since pencil is very easy to erase and colored pencil is not, I'm going to go ahead and use pencil. And now I've got a building moving back toward the vanishing point. To place the edges of the building, I'm going to decide, do I want that building to be tall and skinny or long and wide? For this, I think I'll choose long and wide, and I'm going to make a straight line connecting the red and the green lines together. To create the edge of the roof, I'm going to connect that intersection with a straight line going toward the blue line. And now I've completed the edges of my building. I'm going to erase this line, and that's because the building is not transparent glass. It'll probably be made of bricks and different things, and you would never see this line. So I'm going to let it go, because I need it out of the way to design the outside of my building. So now I have my building. Now that's put in, I can erase the rest of these lines. I'm not going to have an easy time doing that, because colored pencil does not easily go away. But I'll try, and while I do, you can erase your lines. Now 
Now all you should be left with is this structure, and then that would be blank. I'm going to put another two inch building over on this side. Now remember, you can make your building whatever size works for your page. But for me today, this two inch square is going to work. Now once again, I'm going to need to draw a line from each corner back to the vanishing point. I'm going to begin with the far right corner, lining up the edge with the vanishing point. I'm going to use red to show this line. I'm going to line up this corner with the vanishing point. and use blue to show this intersection. I'm going to take this line back to the vanishing point using green. Finally, it will be the line that will be erased, but we're going to put it in anyway because it's good to have that in the beginning. And there we have another building moving back toward the vanishing point. I'm going to choose how long or short this building will be. I think I won't make it as long as this one, perhaps about this long. And I'm going to place the ruler straight up and down to create that edge. And then to complete the roof, we're going to line up the intersection of the pencil line against the red line. And using a straight horizontal line, bring it back to the blue. And now we've got the boundaries of our second building. This interior line I can now take away. And I would erase all of these lines. Since I'm not having good luck erasing them, I'm just going to kind of mark them out so that you know that these are things that would be erased on your paper. Now what we want to do is we want to begin to design the exterior of our buildings. Let's add some windows. For these two sections, it'll be very easy to do. You just add a few horizontal lines. And because I'm combining this with some urban sketching, I'm just going to kind of eyeball those lines. Some people like to carefully measure, and that's just fine. And so now I've got my windows. These were simply straight up and down, horizontal lines and vertical lines. To place the door, you're going to do a similar Thing here. Just a couple of vertical lines and one horizontal line to connect them. As straight as you can make them and now you've got your door. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Don't worry about shading or anything right now. We're going to do that with coffee paint next week. So now we've got some windows and doors on the outer edge, but if we want to add them this way, it's going to have to be a bit different. I'm going to line up the ruler with the intersection of these two lines and the vanishing point. And make a line the length of the building. I'm going to go below and do the same thing one more time. Now, to make the windows, I'm going to just simply use straight up and down lines. 
connecting the red line to the bottom graphite line. To make a door on this side, you will make a horizon line pretty lightly, about the height you want the door to raise to, and then two vertical lines And then you'll remove anything that's not the door frame. To make it thicker, you would make a line that is vertical and horizontal. But to show the interior line, you would want to line it up with the vanishing point. And now you have a more authentic looking entrance. Again, we'll think about shading and all those things later to make these things really start to pop. To make windows on this side, you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to line up this intersection of this window with the vanishing point. And again on the graphite line below. And I'm going to create a third line to be the top of a door. This I'm going to draw in very lightly since I'm going to erase most of it. And now two lines establishing the door frame. I can also use vertical lines to divide up the window panes. The next thing we can do is add a street. To do that, we're going to come away from the green line quite a bit and make sure we're touching the vantage point and come out toward the edge of our paper. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, being careful to stay away from the green line. To establish the dashed line that divides roads, we're going to make two more lines close together, going back toward the vanishing point. And now I'm going to use some horizontal lines to connect these two lines together. It should be getting much skinnier as you go back toward the back. Now to really look at to really make it look divided, I'm going to simply erase every other box. And now I've got my dashed line. To make a curb and a sidewalk, I'm going to go near this line and bring it back to the vanishing point. And I'm going to make another line on the other side, near but not touching my green line. To make it look like the sideway walk has been paved and divided, I'm just going to add some horizontal lines. And now I've got something of a curb and a sidewalk. I think what I'd like to do now is add some trees going back into the distance. Because I want to more carefully create these using paint, I'm not going to do too much with their form this week. I'm going to make a tree line going back into the vanishing point. And the tops of all my trees will touch this line. So right now I'm going to draw probably the largest freeform I can right there, being sure to touch the line. A slightly smaller freeform. And I'm going to shorten each one as I go back. 
or the vanishing point. To create the trunk, this week I'm just going to draw a couple simple lines that are shorter each time I go back. Now, if you really wanted to get that perfect, you would draw another line. But urban sketching, you almost always would simply guesstimate. And so now we've established our tree line. We have our road with our curb and our two buildings. Once you've got your trees, the save, space saved for those, you can erase the lines. Now, let's put a few mountains in the background. We're just going to draw some basic wavy lines there. And I believe that's where we'll stop for today. When we come back next week, we're going to use our coffee paint to fill in the artwork. All right, I'll see you next week. Be sure to bring some coffee paint. You can watch my daffodil video if you'd like to prepare for how to make it. Or simply plan to brew some very strong coffee Oh, about four tablespoons, and make sure it's nice and cool. See you next week.